A couple of months ago, I made a video about HPE acquiring Juniper. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out from here. And the reason for that acquisition is clear. Juniper is the undisputed leader in AI networking. And just months ago, they announced Juniper AI native networking platform, the latest iteration of Juniper's AI ops platform, of course, based on Mist AI technology. And it is impressive. Let me tell you all about it. Hi, it is Marcus here again, and in here we talk everything about enterprise technologies, from AI servers to AI storage to AI networking. Great to see you around. So Juniper just announced Juniper AI native networking platform, the latest and greatest version of their AI ops platform. If you've been following Juniper, you know that this is not their first AI rodeo. They've been all in AI for a long time. In fact, I would go as far as stating that they are arguably the leading AI networking company in the world. As an example, Juniper is closest to the top right corner of 2024 Gardner Magic Quadrant for enterprise wired and wireless LAN infrastructure. Oh, for the third time in a row and fourth time in the leader quadrant overall. But what does all that mean in practice? Well, let's start by defining what makes a powerful AI ops. First, we need to have a holistic view of the environment. So we need to collect data, lots of it. And importantly, data needs to be relevant, the right kind. But data alone is worthless unless we understand it. So secondly, we need to be able to refine the data into insight. Third, based on that insight, we need to be able to suggest or take the correct action. So why do I think Juniper has an edge in all of this? Let's take a look at data collection first. All Juniper networking devices are collecting telemetry data all the time. As an example, a Juniper wireless access point captures 150 data points every single minute. And MIST has been doing this for nine years. So they have a lot of data. And the cool thing is, they are not only collecting telemetry data from the devices, but experiences from the users. I mean, they are not only checking if the LED is green. They're saying the Wi-Fi sucks. But the light is on. But even more importantly, whether or not the user is happy with the network, and if not, why? Additionally, Juniper collects data from the adjacent software like Zoom and Teams, merge that data with all the rest of the data collected from the devices and users to provide even more comprehensive insights. All that data is sent to the cloud to be analyzed and refined into insight. Over the course of nine years, they've become rather good at this. I mean, this is the one single thing that MIST was specifically designed to do. And the reason Juniper acquired MIST, and I dare say the main reason HPE is now acquiring Juniper. Finally, as the last piece of the puzzle, the Juniper solution is built on a strong foundational infrastructure, including a modern cloud architecture that's 100% API driven, as well as robust, secure hardware. So Juniper AI native networking platform is able to process massive amounts of data and carry out any and all actions automatically and even autonomically. So how does the user see the benefits of all this? Well, most importantly, the network provenly works better with less calls to support. Also, you can see the results all over the user interface as recommendations, solution suggestions, estimations and forecasts. But most visible form is Marvis Virtual Network Assistant, or Marvis VNA. It's a bot that you can chat with using natural language, very much like ChatGPT. Maybe not exactly, but close. And it doesn't stop there. Juniper AI native networking platform introduced Marvis Minis, software components that simulate real users in the networks. Marvis Minis further help Juniper understand the environment and make it even better. So yeah, it's uh, easy to see why Juniper is considered to be the pioneer in AI networking. Will be super interesting to follow how this platform evolves. You can learn more from the link down below. That's it from me this time. Thanks for watching and see you with the next one.